How do you shuffle a list? For example, a list of a deck of cards. Well, it's actually much simpler than you might imagine. So let's go ahead and quickly do that. I have an example list here with just the letters of the alphabet. Then we're going to have an output line that shows the result of our new function. So we're just going to join together the output of our new shuffle method. As an extension method, we need to create a class of type static. And then inside, we'll create our extension method. Again, it has to be a static. We're going to return an ienumerable list. Our method is called shuffle, and we're going to make it a generic so we can have a, a list of integers, a list of strings, a list of person objects, anything we like. It doesn't matter. And then we're going to provide the input also as an ienumerable. We have to use this because it's an extension method. Let's start off with a dummy implementation, which is the beginning. We're going to create a list and then just output that list. The algorithm is pretty straightforward. First, we need to generate some random numbers. This allows us to randomly shuffle. OK, then we're going to have a loop. We're going to loop over every item from the input list. Next up, we need to decide which position inside the list we're going to use as the target for a switch. Now, that means we're going to create a random number which is 0 up to, but not including count. Once we have a position we're going to impact, we always have to add a new entry to the end of the output list. But the value we add is going to be dependent. For example, if we're trying to put it at the end already, because our random number is the end, then we simply put the entry in there. If not, we're going to take our random position and put it at the end. Finally, we override the random position with the entry value. So what does this really mean? It means the first time we come in here, the list, our output list is zero length. So our random is going to return zero, of course. In that case, position zero is equal to zero length just add entry onto the end and then after that we're going to overwrite entry with itself so this code still works now let's imagine the next time we come in we already have one entry in the list and let's say that the random number also generates at zero in this case position is not equal to count you know position zero does not equal one therefore we're going to update the end of the list with the value that's currently at position zero and then we'll overwrite position zero with the incoming value. Looks a bit complicated, but it's actually pretty straightforward. And by doing this, the output list will be just a random combination of the input with a proper random distribution. So let's uh, double check it works. OK, let's run it a couple more times. And each time we should get a different combination as you can see sometimes starting with b then d then c and so forth and the advantage of this being an extension method is we can apply shuffle to any list whether it's an array a list type a dictionary anything you like really so hopefully you've enjoyed that if so give this video a like and i'll see you next time